Good morning, grade three. Today, we are gonna be creating our own visual masterpiece. Now, we'll be doing something similar to this, where we'll be using lots and lots of color, lots of shapes, lots of little 3D pop-out effects to create our own abstract representation of our own garden or our favorite flowers from our garden. We're also drawing inspiration from an artist called Mary Blair, who you may recognize in films such as um, Pip Ham or of the old Alice in Wonderland from the 1950s. She's also inspired the creator's pine El Canto. Beautiful, lots of color in that film and lots of abstract images. So to explain what I mean a little bit further, um, this flower, for example, I have recreated here in an abstract stylized form. So I've been able to um, draw some inspiration from that flower to create my own version of that flower. So how do we do this? Well, let's get started. So first of all, we're looking at oil pastels as our medium to draw our lines. And we're using a watercolor wash over that so that we get um, a beautiful mixture of those two mediums together. So for example, let's do a little close up and I'll show you how this is done. So we might take some yellow, for example, and put in a line here and we're gonna fill in this space. So maybe we do a little repeating pattern here. Maybe we do a wavy line, straight line, wavy line, straight line, wavy, straight. Now, maybe I'm going to do a watercolor wash inside of that that is complementary, which means it is opposite to the yellow on the color wheel. So let's look at yellow. What have we got here? Purple. So we might want to do a purple wash inside that. Or we could do analogous, which means it's similar. So maybe we do a green. So they're kind of like um, neighbors on the color wheel. So you know what, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna do a green. So let's get our watercolor here. And we're just gonna mix it up with a bit of water and make it nice and watery. Now the more water you put in your watercolor, the paler it's going to be. So that's a little bit of a dark green, so that's okay. We just spread it out. And the color gets a little bit weaker. The more water you put in it and the more you spread it out. So see how the water color just sits, or it does not get absorbed by the oil pastel because oil and water do not mix is a little size lesson for you. So that's an example of how we do our um, oil pastel and watercolor background. And we might want to look at how colorful do you want to create this? What sort of colors do you like together? What colors make you feel happy? Like for me, the pinks make me always feel really happy and joyous. The yellow makes me feel happy and joyous. And the blues are more sort of a calm color. And blues and greens are kind of like cool colors, whereas the hot, warm colors are more like the oranges and reds that we see here. So the other thing which we've done is we have created um, some little shapes here um, to represent the begonia. So I have done this through creating a little bit of texture and interest. And I've done this through my little styrofoam block. This is doing a little printmaking techniques. So let me quickly show you how I've done this, is I have just really got my styrofoam block and just a pencil and just punched out some shapes. Do some dots. Might do a line here, a line here. Some more dots, another line, another line. So we might want to paint over that. Say we do a blue and we just paint over that. And then we 
you go. Stamp. And we get some beautiful texture color there. Once that dries off, which may take a little while, we'll then cut out our shapes and um, basically make our flowers out of it. So the other thing we might wanna do is create some, just, just use plain beautiful watercolor on its own. So we might want to just do a bit of a wash here and have some really light colors. Maybe we wanna have some stronger colors. The other thing we can do is we can create some shapes using some little bits of card. So we can maybe dip that in green. Maybe you wanna put this as some lines which are on our leaves. We've got a long line here and we've got some short lines here. So potentially, you can cut that out as a circle as is and use that as our shape. So remember using our scissors, we use our free hand to move the card around. And maybe you want to cut it out completely and then we'll cut around the shape. And then, so we're not wasting material, we can use, once we've finished up using our little printing cards, we can stick a little bit of glue on him like this. Put our shape on there and bang, there we go. Oops, sorry, I have to put some on the back. And then we stick him on. So we're going to get the whole class to create their own visual masterpiece. I want you to think of how you see your garden. What are your favorite flowers and leaves? How are you going to represent them in your painting? Then we're going to put them all up on a massive wall in our room and everyone's is going to create one big, amazing mural. And when you look at it, you think, wow, what do people see in my painting? Or what do I see in my friends' paintings? I wonder what their favorite flower is. Or maybe you might think, I wonder what bees those flowers attract. Or what worms are underneath the soil in all those plants in our gardens. So the choice is yours. I want you to be as creative and as imaginative as you can possibly be to create your own version of your garden and your favorite flowers and leaves within it. Thank you.